Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve a friction problem example. The uniform 10 kg ladder rests against a smooth wall at B. So the word smooth means that we don't have any friction at B. And at the end A rests on the rough horizontal plane for which the coefficient of aesthetic friction is 0.3. And because it says rough, we have friction and also the friction coefficient is given to us. Determine the angle of inclination theta of the ladder and the normal reaction at B if the ladder is on the verge of slipping. So this statement tells us that the problem is a type 2 problem. So we know the surface of slipping. The first step is to draw the free body diagram to see what known values and unknown values we have. So if I draw the free body diagram, the ladder is 10 kilogram and it's acting in the middle. So 10 is the mass. If I multiply it by 9.81, I get the weight, I get the force. At B, I only have normal force because I don't have any friction force. The problem is telling me that the wall is smooth. At A, I have both normal force and also the friction force. So the ladder tends to move to the left, so the friction force would be the opposite direction. Also I have the angle theta. The total length of the ladder is 4 meter. That comes into play when I write my moment equations. So listing our unknowns, what unknowns do we have? So MB, the normal force is unknown here, NA, theta, and FA. So I have four unknowns. Using equilibrium equations I can only find three unknowns. But also because the problem is telling me that the ladder is on the verge of sleeping, I know I can write the friction equation. So technically I have three unknowns. Or you can think of it as four unknowns but also with four equations. So let's write our equilibrium equations. So I'm going to start with summation of forces in y equals 0. So I have Na and nine point, uh, my, the weight. So that would be 98.1 Newton. That's the only two forces I have. Then summation of forces in x direction equal 0. I have the friction force at A minus mb equal zero so nb the normal force would be equal to the friction force but what is the friction force at a it's simply mu and a so if i write it here mu is 0.3 n a if i bring it here would be 98.1 therefore mb would be 29.43 Newton. So I found the normal force at B as well. Now I need to find theta. That's the only remaining unknown. I found FA, NA, MB, and only theta is remaining. But I have one equilibrium equation left, summation of moment. I'm going to write summation of moment about point A so I can get rid of two forces here. So summation of moment by point A equals zero counterclockwise positive. There are two forces that are creating a moment, NB that is creating a positive moment because it's rotating my member counterclockwise about e, point A. Also the weight that is creating a negative moment because it's rotating clockwise. What is the moment arm for MB? The moment arm for MB is this distance, which is 4 sine theta. And what is the moment arm for my weight? That would be this distance. And if you think of it, this triangle, so if the total distance is 4 meter, here would be 2 meter. And this is theta. So 
this system would be two cosine theta. So now that I have the moment arm, I can write my equation. And B again is creating a counterclockwise moment. So it's positive moment arm is four sine theta. Fourth, uh, I have my weight, 98.1. Moment arm is two cosine theta equals zero. So this problem, I have one equation and one unknown. If theta, so if I divide the whole equation by cosine theta, then I get rid of cosine theta over there. And I can say for, and I have the value for MB here. So I can plug in the value for MB. I know MB here is 29.43. So I have 4, 29.43. If I divide everything by cosine theta, I get tangent theta minus 298.1 equals 0. So if I rearrange the equation and find tangent inverse, I will find theta to be 59.30 degrees. And that would be my other unknown. So that was a type 2 problem because I knew the surface of slipping.